My name is Flora Ismail Tibazara and I'm the Director for Life Sciences at the Tanzania Commission for Science and Technology in Tanzania. Now, this particular workshop is very interesting because life sciences are looking at human development. Uh, what we look at in life sciences in Tanzania is really health, agriculture, biotechnology and uh, environment and how the environment relates to, to humans obviously is very, very important and so participating in this workshop makes sense to our directorate at least. Uh, the commission is responsible, has a mandate for policy, uh, it's a, a key advisory uh, organization for government in terms of science, technology and innovation and we try to promote uh, emerging technologies and different ways of addressing societal problems, knowing and understanding that our uh, base resource for uh, providing market opportunities for, for addressing our societal challenges are not always forthcoming. Okay? We, we've gotten used to, in Sub-Saharan Africa to, to a, a normal way of doing business and uh, it takes a very long time to actually achieve objectives where people start to appreciate and take on board things where you protect the environment and still gain benefit out of utilizing the resources that you have at hand. And so participating in this workshop for me has been very insightful because we have heard and learned of ways that we can incentivize um, government, incentivize uh, business, involve other stakeholders apart from just government that bears in most cases the responsibility of addressing societal challenges and how all the stakeholders work together, how they partner, how they co collaborate and what are the gaps that actually cause bottlenecks in why certain uh, technologies are not either disseminated, they're not adopted or they don't act, are not accessible to, to society. Coming from a policy uh, instrument, an advisory government uh, instrument, I think our role here is to sort of play that coordinating role and at least learn experiences from the other um, like-minded institutions from the other country partners to transfer their experiences to where w w the experiences that we haven't actually exposed ourselves to to our country and likewise share our experiences with them. Um, what I would recommend going forward is that uh, uh, innovative platforms like BioInnovate try to have more players around the table, more players in the, in the projects themselves because uh, the, the issues that are being dealt with are really uh, multidisciplinary, multi-stakeholder involvement of the private sector and I'm informed that BioInnovate Phase 2 is looking at that but strategies and, and, and levels of awareness that have to be brought in, uh, it's dedicated to bio uh, like technologies. However, there's a lot, there's a, in my opinion, there's a strong component of education and awareness that needs also to be incorporated into the program uh, that might not reflect directly just the technologies, but having mainstreamed environmental awareness into the, in, into the education system uh, could benefit, in fact, the implementation of some of the projects um, or uptake of the technologies that are being proposed by the projects. And I think uh, that's something going forward. Involvement of um, local communities uh, as opposed to just having researchers, private sector and, and government. Uh, local government is, is a key, in my opinion, a key uh, stakeholder that might not have been very well featured in uh, by, by Innovate Stage 1, that, but in by Innovate Stage 2, I think, uh, Phase 2, this should be uh, really addressed so that a lot of the technology that came out of BioInnovate Stage 1 can be upscaled and upscale responsible uh, party would be local government to promote and disseminate those technologies.